guys, how's it going? And welcome back. So today we're going to take a look at the Boss ME80 uh, pedal board. I uh, picked this up from along the Quay to North Bay. It's actually on rental for a few months because uh, I got to wait till I make enough money in one shot to just go. Here's your money, because uh, with taxes it's about 500 bucks Canadian almost. Um, but uh, anyways, worth every penny in my books. Uh, I rented this um, initially because, like I said. Uh, I didn't want to put it on my account, and I also, you know, I want to pay for it up front. So I got to wait till I get enough steady work in a row that I can just take one big paycheck and go. Pew! Uh, so in the meantime, I'm renting it. And besides, when you rent something, you actually get a discount off the retail price when you buy it. So that's kind of really cool. Long McQuaid's awesome. Um, but uh, I got this because I had taken my boss Katana amp to church. Uh, to play and we're trying to work with different sound effects to add into the songs that we play in order to jazz them up right and the katana's got like all 55 uh, boss pedals in it it's a great amp and everything, but it takes up a lot of real estate on the stage and it's a heavy beast to haul back and forth and i don't want to do that um, it's just a pain in the neck and uh, i wanted something more portable that still has a boatload uh, of effects in it and i can use multiple effects um, in pretty much any order on the fly. I just, you know, hit a button here, button there, boom, boom, boom. And I just set my dials, my levels to where I need them for the tones. And uh, it even has what's called an EQ uh, FX2 area where you do uh, straight EQ uh, effect or chorus or delay or boost, tremolo or phaser. Um, you also have a separate reverb, which is hall, spring, uh, and room. Uh, you've got a wah uh, volume pedal, which is also uh, good for wah, uh, one called voice, and then they got uh, plus one, plus two, uh, minus one oct. Uh, they got a freeze, it's kind of like a sustain uh, type of deal, and then you've got a uh, OSC delay, uh, overdrive distortion combo, uh, mod rate and delay level um, type of deal. Uh, off the pedal. Um, you just push the pedal all the way down firmly to activate, press it firmly again to deactivate the pedal FX area. So that kind of opens you up to, you know, yet another pedal to play with. You can also download patches uh, from probably any of your favorite artists. I haven't been up to the website to download patches yet, but you can run this thing as a two-way in and out, uh, even as a processor into your computer through via USB, which is great too. Use it with your GarageBand, your Amplitude program, etc., etc. Uh, it has a left and right um, mono out, and then of course left and right stereo out to go to two amplifiers if you want to do that sort of thing. One main guitar input, uh, record out and headphones, so if you want that you know, cab simulation sound you, you can use that. Uh, auxiliary input for you know, like an mp3 player or whatever. The USB computer area, the power switch is like a soft switch, DC in. Also runs on six AA batteries, which at church I use just the batteries. Uh, just to save me from bringing my power supply with me, and it's just more wires to deal with. So the fewer the better. And because my guitar is wireless, and I do use a Boss wireless system now at church, I still use my XYs, but at home. Uh, ever since we got the Line 6 mic in for our pastor, uh, it's a new set for him. Um, the Line 6 seems to be interfering with my XYs, no matter what channel they're on. Uh, so that's kind of disappointing, because I really love the X5 kits as well. And I've had mine for quite a long time. Uh, but now it's a problem. So I thought, well, let's try the Boss. It has 15 channel or 14 channels. So you can actually hook up 14 Boss units uh, at once on stage and have none of them interfere with each other. Um, and that's, uh, uh, I've got videos about that and how you bind them to your present wireless equipment so there's no interference there too and so on. So anyways, we've got a preamp section as well that has uh, a clean channel. It has an acoustic uh, preamp in this, so you can hook an acoustic electric guitar into this pedal unit as well, which I've done. Uh, you've got a metal section. You've got tweed, crunch, combo, lead, drive, and stack. Um, you've got a compressor FX1 area where you have compressor, t uh, up, t down, octave, slow gear, defretter, which I actually used today was the defretter instead of the acoustic simulator at church. Uh, ring mod, uh, single uh, to hum, hum to single. Uh, basically, it's like switching pickups without having to have pickup switches. Um, solo area, overdrive distortion area has boost, overdrive, uh, tube screamer, blues, turbo overdrive, distortion, turbo distortion, metal distortion, which is really cool, core, fuzz, and octo fuzz 
on the mod section you've got pitch shift vibrato chorus tremolo flanger phaser uh, harmonist rotary uh, univ delay and overtone on your delay section you have 1 to 99 100 to 600 uh, 500 to 5,000, 6,000, 5,000, I think it's 6,000 millisecond. Uh, analog delay, tape delay, modulate, reverse, which is really cool. Uh, chorus delay, combo, tempo. Uh, the Terra Echo is actually really cool. And then, of course, you do have a looper in this thing, um, where when you turn the dial to the looper, you've got, I believe it's a 38-second looper. Uh, I don't like the looper in this. I actually have a Nux Loop Core uh, looper, which I use because I have six hours on that and unlimited overdubbing. Uh, so I actually use an external looper for any of my looping stuff I'm going to do. Um, among two other pedals, I have a Beat Buddy and I have a Trio Band Creator. But um, yeah, boatload of features on this thing. So let's. Uh, I'm not going to run through all the, so the sounds on this thing. There are videos that will show you every single sound, but you're not going to get every single combination, of course, because... You know, you've got dials for changing the amount of each one, so you can like do like unlimited virtually um, when it comes to setting up your specific sound or tone for each effect. But uh, let's go through some of this. And right now we're going to just start totally clean with the preamp section on. Now the guitar I'm using is actually my uh, Dean Zero uh, Dave, Dave Mustaine signature guitar. And uh, that's the bridge, bridge and neck, and neck. So let's turn on the acoustic simulator. booster signal in there. Give it a boost on there. Okay, so let's uh, let's try the D fretter. It's kind of a unique sound. Now I do have this plugged in my Hughes and Kettner 2 Meister 18 and it's running through my Marshall 4x12 stack and recording live right into my JVC camcorder. And octave. down So let's just go to the compressor. Alright, so next section, uh, let's try the tube screamer. Drive. 
turbo overdrive. Regular distortion. Turbo distortion. Metal distortion. Fuzz. Uh, now I didn't change any of the settings, so it can sound a lot better um, or a lot worse depending on your settings. I like the blues on this one. Alright, so mod section. <coughs> Let's start with the phaser, which is going to probably sound weird because of my settings. <laughs> Okay, so we got 
got delay in here too. And if we add in an acoustic sim with that, and let's add some chorus. Put some So, some people love these boards, some people don't like them. Um, it's all personal preference, to be honest. I think that there's a boatload of effects on this thing, and so many combinations in which you can tune any one of them uh, to the way you want it or need it. Um, of course, that's all within limitations of dials and whatnot, of course, you know. Um, but even pedal, normal pedals are like that. But the fact that you've got access to a preamp section which has an acoustic simulator um, on the FX channel, but on the main preamp, you do have an acoustic preamp. So you can plug an acoustic electric into this thing, a regular electric, a hollow body, a semi-hollow body, whatever, you know. Um, the fact that they have the acoustic preamp in this thing is the big bonus because sometimes I just want to bring my acoustic but add some light effects in, like the chorus, or maybe I need to put a bit of a wah into a song. Like we did a song, um, Open the Eyes of My Heart, Lord, and it's a really good song. Now, I like the really upbeat version myself, so I'd never try putting a wah into that. But the way we play it at our church, um, putting the wah effect in there actually turned out really, really good. Um, and it accents the song so well, you know, like... Even even though this is an effects processor board, um, it can add to your music in, in ways you just can't imagine. Um, and some of you can, of course, right? Um, but it's all about making things better, more livelier, fresher, you know, even taking old songs, uh, whether you're playing Christian music or not. But in my case, I play the Christian music um, mostly. Um, you know, even taking an old hymn and jazzing it up with a little bit of, you know, mild chorus or, you know, a little bit of chorus and delay attached. Um, it just really does make the song so much better and freshens it up a little newer taste instead of being that same humdrum thing you'd normally sing to in church. It makes it more exciting, right? And having a processor board like this, uh, the fact that it can run on batteries is a biggest bonus. Um, and you can get over 10 hours out of a set of uh, AA batteries if you're using good batteries like Energizers or Duracells, you know, high quality batteries. Cheap batteries aren't going to last you for very long of a playtime. Um, having the wireless system, I've got the Boss Wireless, which is the newest uh, set of wireless systems that um, Boss has actually developed. Um, and uh, it, they're great, you know, they work well. And in fact, our worship leader, uh, main leader, he just got a set of Boss because he's been using a Joyo set for the last few years. And uh, the batteries finally, you know, they're not lasting that long anymore. And, you know, it's like, well, you know, I mean, you can replace the batteries in those, but um, time for something newer and better anyways, right? And for the cost difference to go to the Boss, the Boss really is a good set, you know. And the fact that we can have up to 14 Boss units connected all together at one time is just mental so the fact they also frequency hop too um, with those what you would do would be to um, you have all your other gear turned on in your venue including all your wireless stuff that you're going to use headsets whatever then you bind these two together by plugging them in same way you would charging them you plug them together and then you just put the charge cable on the one end charges both at once well you do the same thing except no charge cable you just plug them together 
and it takes about 10 or 12 seconds and they flash their lights and they they sync uh, to the rest of the system that's in the area that's turned on so that it goes to a frequency that's not interference which is great because now these don't interfere um, like my X5 set was uh, with the new Line 6. These don't have an interference issue, so we're good to go. And we've had both our BOSS units now running at the same time. No interference issues whatsoever. So there is a lot to be said about uh, these BOSS wireless systems. And uh, so when I take this pedal board into church, um, this has been an experiment for me uh, at the same time. Because, you know, I really... If I was to look at what my actual needs were at home, well, I've got the Katana amp, right? But I actually use this a lot because I use it on my Hughes and Kettner amp. But this is more for a church, you know, and it's used at home for when I have my students here. They can hook into the Katana if they want to. I can still run this. We can do our, you know, whatever songs we're working on, blah, 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 and have our effects and whatever, you know. Um, I like the pedal on this thing too, uh, for volume as well as for the wah effect that has the, on the pedal FX side. I also appreciate the fact too, because I did it today, I ran the FX2 channel, uh, with, uh, the chorus, which I normally would run on the mod channel, but I ran the mod channel actually with flanger. And then I ran my, um, FX1. Uh, I was running that with the defretter uh, for the signal. Uh, and then I still had the access to delay and my preamp section and everything else. And I still didn't even need to use the pedal FX for any of our songs today. So you can have, like, you know, mix them up. You know, it's great. Um, and there's so much to tell you about this board. It is just nuts. Um, my advice, download the manual. It's a free download. Just type in ME80, uh, Boss ME80 manual. Download it, study the manual, learn everything you can about this machine, and then decide if you want to get it. Um, the machine that Boss has above this um, actually costs about $1,300, and it's a really nice, jazzy-looking unit, but, you know, I actually like this one actually better than the $1,300 unit. I mean, what, it, what is that $1,300 unit really offering me uh, for what I would need for it? You know, I got everything here. I can download patches from my favorite artists, you know, that are up there, that are listed, um, and download them into the pedal board and just use the memory bank, because it has a memory bank in it, to uh, go to different preset setups and that for your favorite artists or whatever. Um, and you can even save your own patches, make up your own patches and save them to memory and recall them whenever you need them. So if you're doing a gig or whatever, oh, I need this memory for this song, this memory for that song, this memory for that song, you program your gig of all your effects in all in one shot, boom, done. You know, I mean, it's got a lot to offer, to be honest. Um, and the only downside I, I see on it is that 38 second looper. 38 seconds is not enough. Because my, my idea of using a looper is I want to record my entire rhythm track and then overdub with my lead stuff, right? Well, my lead stuff is going to be more than 38 seconds worth, depending on the song. This, I can, I can put in a certain amount, and that's all I get. And then to overdub, I'm not going to get a whole lot of overdubbing time. I don't even know what the overdubbing time is. I don't even think they list it in the manual. I'd have to check, though. But my, my loop core pedal, I can go six hours straight and do six hours straight on top of that of, of overdubbing. You know, so I can, I have unlimited overdubbing, right? It's unlimited to, you know, whatever space I have free. And, of course, 99 banks in it, um, and so on. So I, I use a separate looper pedal, bottom line. So the only downside to this thing I see is the looper pedal uh, that they built in. But if all you need is 38 seconds, hey, knock your socks off. It's a perfect fit. The rest of the board is a perfect fit either way. It's very easy to run. Anybody can run this thing. It's it's basically analog, as you see. You just dial in what effect you want, and then you've got your controls down here. You've got upper, lower, uh, D level. And you've got level tone drive, frequency low, drive level high, uh, E level um, control as well. You've got a full EQ pedal in here, basically. Basically, it gives you bass, mid, treble, and overall. Um, you know, so you've got your EQ. So if you want to use an EQ uh, on certain things, then go ahead, do that. 
Um, and of course you got your, your chorus, your delay, your main boost. Now you've got one chorus there and a delay there, Tremolo and Fraser. You also got the same stuff here, except your, your other boost of course is over here, right? But you do have some of the same effects here going on. Um, and same with your delay, you've got delay on this side. So depending on how you want to do things, you set it up accordingly and voila. And the, the control knobs, they're not loose fitting and they, they actually click uh, basically into place. You know, you can feel that click movement. So they're going to stay there as long as you don't, you know, bump them type of thing like by turning them with your toe or something. Um, but even the distance for the rockers on the pedals, you're not going to mistakenly hit the wrong pedal unless you're not paying attention. You know, otherwise you're, you're fine. Um, it's great. Uh, the only thing uh, other than the, um, the the looper that I didn't really like a lot about was the pedal itself. Um, it's, it is heavy gauge plastic, so it's going to be durable for years and years. But I would have liked to see a metal uh, pedal on this. Um, but even the plastic pedal is extremely good quality. Um, you know, don't let the plastic part knock you off on this one. Um, it is a really good, strong, durable pedal. I just kind of have this thing for metal. Um, even the casing is metal here, uh, so that's good. Um, plenty of um, <laughs> stuff you can attach to this thing, just nuts. And now this thing sells for 429 Canadian before tax. So with tax, I think it came up to like 483 or 486 with tax. Um, so I have no idea what they sell for in the states, but you know, I think as far as 429 goes, it's definitely worth the money. You're getting a lot in here for your money. You know, I mean, I, the, the Katana amps are almost 500 bucks Canadian. And that comes with all 55 pedals. And you're hugging around a 50-pound beast. Uh, mind you, it is a combo amp with 100 watts, 12-inch speaker, blah, blah, blah. This is like having a Katana amp, but better access to everything. Especially the more visual side of things. Um, you know, but you can do an awful lot with this. Like I said, read the manual for it. You know, check out other videos on the ME80. Um, I personally love it. I am going to purchase it because I really do need it. And it's working out for our music at church really well, which is what I had hoped for. And uh, it gives me a, a lot of other accessibilities even at home by running this through my tube amp and even in through my mixing board. Uh, I can do so much with this thing and not even have to turn on my Katana amp, or I can use the Katana amp. I can use this with the Katana amp too. You can use this board with any amp. Even if your amp has onboard stuff on it, you don't have to use that stuff. And you could combine the stuff that's on your amp with this stuff to, to make it even a more fuller, richer setup. You know what I mean? So, you, you know, you've got a lot of effects you can access all at once on the Boss Katana uh, amp. You add these on top of that, and then you just make these the alternates and so you can have a whack load of stuff going on all at once if you want. Um, it's just crazy what you can do with these things. Uh, and this is that Cosm uh, stuff that's in, in here. Uh, I guess it's their Cosm circuitry or whatever uh, they, they call it. Um, but, and I have no problem with these effects, you know, um, or the sounds of them. Uh, you do have to spend time learning to dial in your own tone for each effect that you want. And that's the same as on pedals. Anyways, guys, um, let me know what you think. I think it's a great little unit. Um, I would strongly put this thing at a 4 out of 5. Um, you know, I, I like I said, I've only got a couple little... Well, one's a pet peeve, which is the pedal. The the uh, the looper part, like I said, that, that should have had a lot more record time on it. Um, you know, that even if it was like, you know, 20 minutes of recording time would be great. Uh, but 38 seconds is kind of weak, you know. Um, but uh, otherwise, the rest of it's just completely awesome. Really loving it. Um, but like I said, do check out other videos. And if you want more in depth uh, above this video, there are a couple videos that are more in depth that really get down to the nitty gritties. Um, in time, once I learn more about the programming and downloading patches and stuff, I will do videos on that stuff and sh show you that and talk about that in future videos down the road. But that won't be anytime soon. I have to get time to do this stuff because I have a lot of stuff I do every day. So I'm limited on time. But in the meantime, thank you for watching and hanging out with me. And um, have a great one, guys. Ciao.